Afterlife is a realistic post-apocalyptic survival adventure. Trying to bring a new twist to this genre that has been around for a while already. It's unique and original in its uh, essence. It's, it's a survival game, it's a torn word. Brutal, dark. The main environment of the game is uh, abandoned city. Civilization has collapsed, 90% of the human race is, is gone. No internet, no computers, no electricity anymore. He's separated from his family, he can't get back. That's in Haventon, 27 Arbor Street. It's right in front of the park and, well, uh, maybe, just maybe, someone will be there. He's going to make the trek into the city and hope beyond hope that they're still alive. When the main character is uh, back in his city, what he discovers is something filled with dust, destroyed building. The blur effect and also the green effect were my main reference in terms of the graphic treatment. On the other hand, there's a few levels that are very contrasted with the natural lighting. The promise of this game calls for something different and it forced us to rethink a lot of the traditional mechanics that we have in survival games. Go away and maybe you don't get cut. For our main character, the direction is to build a true life normal guy. He has the same limitation as a normal human being. We used, you know, the old way of uh, managing life. Uh, that means it doesn't regen, you have to take care of your character. Instead of putting you in a world where everything that moves will kill you, we wanted more to emphasize the uncertainty. There are several categories of people in this world. Of course, there are innocent people. Hey, you really don't want to make an enemy of me. There are people who just defend the few things they still have, and there are other people much more aggressive. We shifted the challenge more on the strategic side of things. Look at him. He's shitting his pants. One or two bullets, five guys, okay, what I'm gonna do? I can intimidate the other, I can bluff them, maybe I have no bullets. Um, I have to take care, they don't guess that I have no bullets. Uh, we're in a realistic world, post-apocalypse. A single pistol is already extremely precious. There are different ways to fight in the game. You can use your machete, it's a physical fight. The bow is a stealth weapon. Once you shoot a bullet with a gun, okay, the bullet is lost. With the bow, you can take back your, your arrow. In I Am Alive, if you want to climb, if you want to do something uh, unusual, it has a cost in terms of stamina. Everything has a cost. When the, the main character is reaching his limits, you have to perform an effort. Uh, you have to button mash. The stamina will deplete as you make efforts, but you have done a good exploration and you have found precious items. These might save your life. When you open your inventory, you have some medicine, you have some food cans. Every resource is critical. There's something special into the climbing. It's the Couton resource. It's a tool that allows you to get a rest when you're climbing. And there's also some victims, some people that are in a much worse condition than you. One of them broke my ankle while tying me up. We escaped and hid here, but I need to tape up my foot before I can even think about running again. They have witnessed the progressive deterioration of the city and they have information to give you. We had to do smart choices in terms of production value, game length, without betraying the original promise of uh, I'm Alive. I, I don't think we would have been able to do the I, I Am Alive we wanted uh, if we had to do a box product. It gives you opportunities to experiment. There's a lot of uh, competition in action games but we found something that is truly unique, visually, emotionally. We really ignore that we are making a downloadable game. We are making a game just interesting, which is fun, which is emotional. It's a big game. It's a unique survival experience that you won't find anywhere else, definitely.